hi everyone welcome to triotech software trainings youtube channel my name is kumar and i am the trainer for oracle fusion hcm cloud applications team today i came here with a topic on redwood user interface because nowadays everywhere we are hearing about the concept of redwood ui in fact many students in my sessions who ever joining or even when they were inquiring about this technology or the course everyone asking about what is redwood ui kumar so to give you ample information about the concept of redwood ui i am doing this video team so in this video today i am going to explain you what is the difference between redwood user interface responsive user interface and a classic user interface because many of us know by this time the classic and responsive screens how in the fusion application looks like and even redwood also you be looking in the screens nowadays team but what is this user interface concept what is the difference between redwood responsive and classic ui so to start with team see what is user interface user interface means when we log in into the system what we are looking in the application screens the look and feel that when i log into the fusion system team what is the look and feel of that particular screen what is the design of that screen what are the different sections we have in that screen right that is what user interface what we are looking up to as a user what is the interface that we are seeing in the screen when we log in into the system right so traditionally team when oracle introduced these applications in the market they came up with classic user interface that is the old traditional oracle user interface team even now many of the screens in the system we have with that classic user interface only team and slowly oracle changed them to responsive and from last 2 years we are we are seeing the latest user interface redwood see to be in the market to be competitive in the market and to give more user convenient and rich experience to the customers who using their applications team oracle investing a lot in their research and development and then oracle improvising their screens in their uh, day to day life to be competitive team i mean to say for example if you see our mobiles or if you see our laptop uh, software team windows you take or ios of mac you take team see 5 years back how the look and feel of the screens that we used to have team but now what we are we are in 2025 year by year year by year we are seeing the advancement in the look and feel of the applications right anything you take let's take up your iphone or you take up your android phone Five years back, how the screens looks like, and now how the screen looks like, that is a betterment within the user interface team. So every organization is thrive towards that to be very competitive. Like many competitors are there in the market, right? SAP we have, we have people's, I mean to say, Workday we have, Microsoft Dynamics we have. To be more competitive and to be more. Uh, convenient for the customers and to give more rich experience and adaptable intuitive experience to the customers team oracle constantly trying to improvise their look and feel of the applications team so initially when oracle launched the application they came up with classic user interface and then oracle upgraded to responsive ui and now the most advanced latest user interface and which is more compatible with artificial intelligence also team so now the redwood ui screens oracle launched to give more compatibility to work in synchronize with the ai also right in oracle hcm cloud in our talent area goals performance or in our oracle recruiting cloud area already artificial intelligence advanced ai features were also been coming up to get inclined with that ai supportive nesting the redwood features we we have in this system so let us see the comparison team how 
the old classic UI in the system will be there. How the responsive UI, how the Redwood UI. Let me demonstrate in the system so that you can clearly understand thing. And I will also show you how to enable the Redwood features in the following video team. Right. See, one basic transaction in the HCM I will take here. We all know, many of you who are looking at this video, probably you know a couple of transactions in the system team. In core HR module, one of the HR self-service transaction I will take as an example and I will cover this topic team. We all know how to add assignment to the existing employees in the system. So usually as a HR, if you want to add the assignment in the system, where he will go team? Huh? Where he will go team? Let me open the system team. Usually we all know that HR will come to my client groups. Okay. My client group and he will go to person management. Right. And then we can search any of the employee in the system team. So I'm searching with some employee by name, John. Okay. By name, John. So when I come to employee, in any employee by name, I could see here by name John. I'm picking up here, team example. Some John Cruz is there. So to add the assignment, what we will do, team? We will come here. Then we will come to edit button. Then we will go to update, right? So we will choose the date from when onwards we want to add one more assignment to the employee. Let's say I want to add from March 25th, right? So here in the actions button, we can pick up the action here add assignment then the reasons we will choose why we are adding one more assignment team right see when i'm trying to add assignment to the employee when i came from the my client groups person management edit button update and add assignment this is the look and feel of the application right team add assignment see in this work relationship i'm adding one more assignment. See the layout or the screen structure team. I'm getting multiple tabs here. Employment info, compensation info, roles information. Then in the assignment level only, we can capture all these details of the employee and then manager details, then probation, notice, direct report is right. This is what team one of the way that we can perform add assignment in the system. So team, this is our old classic user interface. This is the old traditional classic user interface in the system. Add assignment, I can perform like this. Now the same transaction, let me show you from the responsive UI. Okay, I have another environment team where Redwood not enabled in the system so far. So team, the same transaction in this environment, if I pick up team from my client groups, quick actions, right? Then I'm going to show more, right? From here also, we can do the transactions, right? As a HR. So here, if I come to employment and if I go to add assignment team here, okay? Now see team, the look and feel is different here. So as a HR admin, I can perform the transaction from here also. So add assignment if I come, I can search for the employee team, any employee in the system I am searching by name, some Kumar, something I am searching team and I am performing the transaction. I can select that employee and I can perform, add assignment. So what info do you want to manage? Compare it to classic, responsive or more adaptive screens in the system, more user friendly, user engageable screens in the system. Everything in the form of question here we will get. See, what info do you want to manage? So what are the sections that I want to uh, capture while I'm adding the assignment? We can select that thing. The layout you see thing. When I perform the add assignment from here, the look and feel of screens are like this. I'm getting multiple tabs and I could able to capture. But the same thing, when I come here, See team, what info do you want to do and manage? I'm selecting and I will click on continue, right? And then team, when I click on continue here, all sections will come in the vertical arrangement. See, 
when and why so when does the very detailness of every attribute we can expect here tip it just ask us effective date but here what does the assignment start we can give the date then what is the assignment to be whether it is temporary or permanent huh? then what is the way to add action action reason for the team if i click on continue then assignment details team then manager details contract salary one by one i can perform see the screen here looks something different and here it is different so these screens are classic user interface screens even now many of the configurations or transactions that when we perform from my client group sub functional areas team still they are in classic ui only and this is responsive user interface screen now the latest ui after responsive team oracle introduced redwood ui from last two years oracle came up with this concept team let us see i have another environment with the redwood enablement in the system team i mean to say once the redwood enabled in the system how the screen look like the same transaction you see team so even redwood also team as of now majorly in the quick actions area all the screens were moved slowly even from springboard area also oracle moving team see now the same transaction i will show you in redwood ui my client groups okay i came to my client group quick actions right then show more then if i come to add assignment team so now this screen is my redwood enabled screen in the system team see redwood you can see in the url also see what is that redwood so here see team the look and feel first of all let me show from here onwards team if i come to responsive my client group show more and if i click on add assignment here see this is responsive ui screen this is redwood ui screen with a combination of red and white combination we are getting right and see team i can able to search for the employee whom i want to perform the transaction i can search here team the same john cruz i am selecting team let me add here the person detail then i will land upon the add assignment screen for this person team see now my page is loading and here i can see team add assignment see if i do add assignment from responsive the look and feel is like this team if i do from redwood the look and feel is this one see everything i have different sections info to include so i'm asking me what all sections you want to include while you performing the transaction salary details direct report is compensation everything will include team so here i can select scroll down click on continue right and then i will land upon next section team when and why so here i can capture the start date then assign the assignment temporary or um, permanent then what ways do you want to uh, select that see everything you can give team action action reason right is all details and i can proceed to continue team then one by one all details i can capture see now all the details came so i can give that team so three screens you observe if i perform a transaction from here this is classic ui screen i can do from here that is also correct only but the look and feel if you observe team the difference will be like this this is classic ui this is responsive ui and this is redwood ui team in the url only you can observe that team the redwood you can see is an extension here so as of now team already it's been couple of releases back only oracle introduced the redwood in the fusion application and the next future of fusion applications will be completely redwood only so earlier oracle given us certain approach that we have to enable the redwood ui screens in the system how to do that in my next video you can find that thing but every quarterly upgrade every 3 3 months we all know the quarterly upgradation policy in our oracle team every 3 months when oracle upgrading their application team oracle mandatorily upgrading the screens also to redwood the plan the road map by oracle is by end of this year all the screens in all the modules 
it's going to be moved to Redwood UI team. So initially we have an option to enable and do that thing. But by default, they are enabling it now in every quarterly upgrade. But even now, we have the option to switch back to the responsive or to Redwood. We have that option team. So this is what the main comparison between classic, responsive and Redwood. So I hope everyone who understood how the look and feel of the application looks like and from where we have to navigate to find the Redwood UI screens in the system team. So in my next video team, I'm going to explain you how to enable Redwood user interface in the system. So please do subscribe to the YouTube channel for further more updates team and also share this video to your friends, whoever is in need to understand this concept. Thank you everyone for watching this video team.